You're listening to Polymatic.media, episode 99 for February 2023. Welcome to the Polymatic cast. Hey, John, how's it going? Hello. Actually, we know how it's going. We just talked. I just, we had had Alan's therapy for the last 90 minutes over something we're not talking about. It was desperately uh, needed. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I haven't talked to any, really any, very few people about it. So, yeah. um, uh, uh, Polymatic link slash show 99 for the links just yeah so. that's good that makes sense. <laughs> if you want to read along and we have things in there they're mm-hmm. organized and well so you can just I, go there and just click on the links if i used to. to do that with og uh, up front and i mean it's like they can figure out what they know what the show number is they can figure out what the pattern is i stopped doing it yeah <laughs> the, the, then people would have to l- listen to every single episode <laughs> right it, <laughs> well no but i mean i i o, at least for og there's always the the number is in the title, so mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, okay, so uh, <laughs> I don't know where to start. Uh, we were just talking about a couple things. Where do you, where do you want to start with? Um, well, actually, you had some recent video games. I will say, just to sort of insert on on that, I saw something last night, um, and I was up for like five hours <laughs> playing it, well into the night. Uh, defend the bits. It's a tower defense game. It was real fun. So mm. I was playing that last night. So. Yeah. Not really my kind of game, though. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got... I got. Um, so do you have a link for that or something? Uh, I do not. No, I, I wasn't. <laughs> so I, I saw that. that as sort of one of your topics. I wasn't playing it on. You can get it on Steam. Defend uh, the bits. Very easy. I put it on the list, and I'll put a link in there. Okay. And it comes recommended from you. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I I played it for five hours straight. I mean, I was mostly trying to upgrade, uh, get enough keys so I could uh, unlock, you know, discounts and stuff on my base, my my guys. So, um, yeah, yeah. It's one I of started those, looking uh... at four uh, X games, and there are some games that are like, re- like because Balotopia is a really simple four X game. Um, Battle of Polytopia. I always yeah. say Battletopia. Um, and so I was looking at a bunch of Forex games and some of them are really interesting, but I'm like, no, that looks like way too invested in just really weird campaign. I'm not in for that. Um, so I don't know. One of the, um, one of the games I was playing and I haven't really played it with any serious intent was, uh, Dyson Space Program. Dyson Sphere Simulator? That's it. Dyson, uh, Dyson Sphere Program. Um, yes, and so that. sort of an online friend I know is really into it. So every once in a while he streams it on Discord and we just sit there and we hang out and we talk about it. Um, mm. And I learn stuff. And, you know, so so that's a game I'll probably pick up again. But anyhow, enough for me on games. There wasn't really anything more than that. <laughs> I, I, got, um, I got Cyberpunk, like, like a year or so ago mm-hmm. and i think it may be december 2021 mm. when i got cyberpunk and i played it first and i wasn't really happy with it i was like yeah i got played through the first act and i was like yeah, wasn't that is, when it was this is too super depressing. buggy no no no, no 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 oh okay it was already pretty fixed by then i i never played it um and then i saw your playthrough that you sent me the videos for and i was like hey that looks like a pretty cool game it's like that. Playthrough? That kind of looks like a cool place oh, to live. Oh, you mean the 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 the, the, yeah, the performance thing? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, oh, that, that's pretty cool looking. And then I was like, oh, that's apparently that's cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah, cyberpunk is a really, really, really big game. It's so mm-hmm. the the thing I like about it. You have a thirty six C. I have a thirty seven, uh, thirty eighty. Thirty eighty. Okay, you should be able yeah. to play that game. Yeah. Very well. As, as long as you fix that cooler noise. So I, uh, just a little update. So what I heard is I heard this weird uh, NVIDIA had some kind of driver update because um, they made some update in a recent driver, right, probably when my problem was starting, um, that was screwing up, was was messing with Steam and Discord. And so they had some kind of driver update fix. I don't know if I have that. Uh, but I got some update recently, and Discord seems to be more stable for me. You know, my and and Steam has got a lot more stable. 
Um, though last night I was playing Polytopia and it did have a screw up, which is weird because in the last week it was fine. Um, so, so yeah, so I don't know. I don't know that. I mean, yes, that's a problem with AIO, but uh, apparently there was a software change. It was in the most uncommon of places where uh, NVIDIA screwed something up, right? Which mm. makes a lot of sense. So. Anyway, but if you if you uh, if you have a thirty eighty, you should be fine. But that right. is definitely definitely a very nice game to play because it's it besides it's like you know you have play through the initial in introduction, but then like the world opens up for you. It's like mm -hmm. it's like a very big city full of things to discover and to play through. The, the 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 one thing I would say is that the world isn't deep enough. In certain spaces, like for example, the city center, you would expect like to be more shops and more other things to go to, and like um, like businesses you can go into and murder everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's like uh, it's like there's lots of there's lots of things to do, and I've been finishing all the gigs, all the side quests, and mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, I'm really like going through every every little bit. So I kind of my my thing is I like open world things. Yeah. But I also don't love forced side campaign side quests. Things. Oh no, you don't have to do them. You can just finish the main quest. But right, like okay, the thing is it. I would I I maxed out a lot of stuff already. So I'm oh, like going it. through yeah. all the different then and now I'm doing all the uh like I finished some of the there's a, a, a condition in there called cyber cyber psycho where you uh go nuts and they mm -hmm. Well, the the people go nuts, and you're supposed to like take take them out or like uh, sedate them or whatever. Mm -hmm. And but they're really tough bosses. But I like, started doing them straight away, so I was like, "Oops!" Like me going there in my level one uh, stuff, uh, going around and uh, trying to stop these guys, and like utterly failing over and over and over again. But like now, I've like I think le I'm level fifty now. Well, I've I have fifty fifty points or whatever on the on the on the, uh, the the things you can assign to your skills and whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's it it's definitely something. And and, and I, I, I've got legendary weapons and legendary. Right. Uh, this is the kind of thing I always hated with, like GTA. Right. It, it's the same thing, but like to for you to unlock anything, you had to do the things, and I'm like. Mm. Mm. You know, and also it's it's where it, it falls apart for me in Stardew is because I can't do the fishing. I just can't I can't figure it out. And so that sort of causes a block for everything else. So yeah, yeah, yeah. and so that's that's my problem. Right? I just need you here one day to get me past all the fishing stuff and then I'm good. <laughs> right. And then, then I can move on and play the game. But like so, for example, Minecraft, I like the open world parts of it in the same respect after I build a bunch of stuff okay, it has kind of no purpose anymore. Yeah. I could explore for 20 hours and never find everything of interest. Um, and it doesn't have native teleport. I mean, it does if you put the coordinates down, but like it doesn't have a native like bookmark this and, you know, teleport home, uh, warp home. Um, but my, my point is there is a game part of Minecraft and I don't give a crap about it. You like it. I, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care to finish that. I, I don't. <laughs> I That's not I what appeals Minecraft to me for Minecraft. What was that? I haven't played Minecraft in a while. Right. And I uh, I did. I got a realm and I started to build a base and I started to seal in a villager, a village, villager, village, and, uh, you know, killed all the, have not found the, the uh, raider's tower yet. Um, have you have you been to the um, the new section, the the um, I haven't gone down in the teleport now. I didn't, I mean, uh, under the underworld. No, um, no. The um, there's like a new, a new city where uh, like uh, like abandoned cities underneath the ground, very deep under the ground. Oh no! It's, I mean, it's, there's what? Well, well, how's that different from mine shafts? Oh no! This is much different. There's like lots of um, lots of chests and stuff. And I know like, there's lots of there's, new stuff in the the nether world, right? If if you if you hit um, if you make a noise, you may trigger a uh, what's the warden, and the warden will come out and just obliterate you. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I mean I sort of spawned into a place, and I want maybe four hundred 
400 blocks away from like the spawn point and I just sort of started building a tower like I do glass and you know and um uh obsidian and you know just like you know I it's what I do it's, it's what I always do so that it's impervious and then of course I built put a big old hole that was you know many blocks deep and then I started to um you know build build a place where I can grow some trees underground and then you know set my farm and uh, that I started hunting around and right nearby was was a village and I walled that in and I, you know, basically uh, made it really easy and uh, safe for them to exist. And then, of course, the raiders came <laughs> out of everywhere and, you know, and so I had to kill them off many times and, you know, and, um, yeah, so that's it. That, I mean, that's it. My problem is that, like, I don't know, I get to a point where, if I don't have any kind of predestined purpose, right? Uh, and there's nothing immediate around me of interest, right? Where in other places where I've spawned in, oh, within four or 500 blocks or something of an interest, but I wasn't exploring one night. And I was just like, there's nothing. There's lots of sea around me, you know? So, uh, you know, I didn't spawn into the best, like most interesting place to explore. So... Mm. Um, and so I wrote down the, the coordinates, right? That's how I, I immediately make that a teleport stuff so I can get that on my, my chat history, right, to, to go spawn back. But, um, yeah, I could be spending two hours in any direction and not find anything interesting. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's my realm. So, I don't know, I might cancel the realm. So Anyway, when, you, when you're talking about exploring and stuff, I think, I think Cyberpunk is a pretty, pretty big game. And there's going to be mm-hmm. an expansion soon, so. Um, yeah. And it's going to be the only expansion for this for this uh, for twenty seventy seven. Has it I gotten think... more stable? Oh yeah, definitely. It's it works really nice. It's uh, I haven't had a crash mm, okay. since. Uh... At this moment, I'm trying to reduce as many the only, opportunities. The only crash to... I had, the only crash yeah. I had, was with uh, the Steam Deck, but that was because the Steam Deck was messed up because they oh. had a, a problem with the graphics drive uh, graphics card. Hmm. Or the graphics on board. Yeah. Um, yeah. At this point, I'm trying to do my best not to deep dive on games too much during my day. Yeah. There's, there's, um, the, the, it's also a, a good game to just go explore and just go see things in that city. It's, is, mm-hmm. you don't actively have to go do the quests. You can just mm-hmm. go and drive around and do some, maybe shoot some, uh, some, uh, uh, um, criminals and whatever and mm-hmm. uh, just uh, get your levels up that way uh, and then go do some of the, the, the first quests or whatever. But there's there's a big problem with the story in this game where you basically get bummed out. Well, I got bummed out and like the like the after act one, I'm like, okay, I, I need to put this game away because I'm not a good headspace for this and I will go look at this later. <laughs> it's yeah. like, I just got diagnosed with diabetes and might as well just, you know, take a break got from it. this. <laughs> right. You don't you don't want a reason to escape and then ruminate all the time. Um, well, the, the, the problem was that the game basically gives you a death sentence like the first after the first. Oh, act. OK. Got <laughs> so it. So I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> this is a fun game. Wait. Yeah. But there's um, like a, I think there's um, uh, a new section of the city is going to be unlocked. Mm-hmm. And it's about like uh, the new United States of America. It's like a, it's like a, yeah. So I don't know if you know anything about cyberpunk. Not enough. Uh, not I know not the... specifically the game, but like the. No, I don't know the storyline uh, at all. Okay, okay, okay. So there's um, uh, I think you uh basically you team up with the president or something like that. It's like super super weird, but there's like uh the the, the night city is enclosed um from the outside for uh uh, security reasons like uh like there's uh like rogue ais out there so if you go outside the city and you know you're basically on your own i think there's something like that i don't know i there's a there's a whole story there but like there's there's a new new expansion coming out i hope this year to know when it's coming out but uh i just want to have everything finished until the last part of the of the game and then i'll um i'll go um 
yeah, there's there's like a final mission you can go on, and like I don't want to make the decision, so I'll, I'll just play again I, I, until I get to that point, and then I'll I'll just uh, I'll just do the expansion, and then then maybe do the final mission. Mm -hmm. It's like it's similar to like like I wish I wish that um, Cyberpunk, uh, the way that they did the game, and something like Mass Effect. I would like something like Mass Effect, but like with that type of, you know, engine. And I think they tried to do that with Mass Effect Andromeda, but Mass Effect Andromeda was like, it is, yeah, they had pretty, pretty nice open spaces, but like the, um, the game there was, um, it was too much still like, like Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, where it's like, shoot, 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 level, level, level. And that's the thing. But you don't go, you can't go, around in a big alien city and go explore and whatever but it doesn't that it's not there i think there's a new game coming out um there's a new uh, space game from bethesda but then again i don't like bethesda for they do the fallout games and i don't like the fallout games, so i don't know if that's gonna be a good one i have um it's space haven or something like that that's kind of neat I I bought that year uh, maybe a couple of years ago. I never really completed it. I was just looking at my my Steam library last night. That's why I ended up getting to a, like a tower defense game. I was like, I just want another tower defense game. Um, and I bought uh, I bought two, and the other one won't let me assign which monitor it shows up full screen on, which is irritating. And it doesn't have a window mode, so I can't just like move, drag it, and put it back in the full screen. So. Uh, I don't know how quickly I'm going to play Rogue Tower. <laughs> Switch your uh, uh, outputs on your monitors. Yeah, I, you have to set the other main main default. It's annoying. It's annoying that they don't build it in that way. Uh, it's annoying. Like, it's At least at Windows, one of the things they eventually did when they got to Windows 10 is they created a sound mixer where you could override, um, especially when an app doesn't have any routing built into it. So I could override its input, its and its outputs, and I wish they had that for overriding like video games, right? It would be really nice if they had that function. I know it's very difficult, right? Because it's it's you know how you render with DirectX doesn't probably doesn't have a, a channel like that, like a, a hub. Like you just you just say this is the resource I want to push to. I know when I used to do some native stuff in Windows, that's kind of how it worked, right? You would you would pick a a device resource. You didn't really, uh, unless you, there wasn't any, some kind of like common manager for that, right? And especially if you're writing in Unity or Unreal, you're running, you're writing at, it's writing to DirectX level to get that stuff done. So unless they build some kind of mechanism into that, I don't know if it exists, it would be nice to be able to sort of like forcibly override which monitor you take over, you know? So, so the game that, that I was referring to was Starfield. Um, oh, okay. Bethesda. I'm looking okay. forward to that game for some reason, but I'm I'm still thinking that maybe um, it's going to be another letdown. <laughs> I mm. hear that there was like um, there was a, there was a, a Fallout game that was like people were playing it and they were not enjoying it whatsoever. Yeah, it it, it was similar to the way that um, um, what's the other other space game with the uh, flying around and the uh. What's the name of that game? No Man's Sky. Oh, okay. I never played that. Yeah, I did. And it was pretty entertaining once they fixed all the bugs. Mm -hmm. I know, <laughs> Paul. It's still, it's still something that I would like to go and spend some time on, but because it just, it, it was already ruined for me. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll just, I'm not oh, going to bother anymore. Yeah, um, Paul had said, I think he had said that uh, that he really likes that game. He, yeah. he speaks highly of it. Yeah, it's probably a good game, but uh, yeah, they messed it up, so I'm not playing it anymore. Uh, the game that I saw people play, and and then once I heard it was an open world, and it came, it comes to an end, I was a little less interested. Um, but Stray, Stray looks really interesting to me. I played the first part of it. I'm like, I got to. It looks really interesting. It looks nice, and it yeah. plays pretty nice on the Switch, on the um, uh, Steam Deck. Okay. So I've been playing that, but I haven't continued after like the first thingy mm -hmm. where you 
collect the first part. Um, I eventually got Untitled Goose Game. I was playing that. It was, that's fun. Um, I, yeah. um, uh, I picked up Death Stranding. So right. Okay. Playing. Yeah, I, I you were you were trying to find the name for it. I was like, I have no idea what this game is. <laughs> yeah, the walking simulator. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and I have been playing Terraria, mm-hmm. but that I, th- I think I'm getting to a point where I'm like, okay, I need to fight certain bosses to uh, continue, but I would l- rather level up some of my gear. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to, man, it takes some time. And then I have to prepare right. for this. And then if I fail, I have to do a lot of more stuff and for I, this. I'm like, okay. Yeah, it. and I think that's this. that's sort of my, my problem with games is I don't, um, if I hit a challenge point and I'm just not good at something, it's not that I'm I'm bailing. It's just that I come back to it like a couple of years later. It's the same thing with like, I never finished Breath of the Wild. Because there were just certain um, certain shrines I just couldn't 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 do, um, mm. and so I never so I never played the next the the second version. And Breath of the Wild I really liked. I really loved playing that game, but I just could not get past certain stuff. I'm not that much of a gamer. I'm not not that coordinated or good with certain things. I finished um, all the shrines and I was I'm about halfway through master mode. Yeah, I it's been a couple of years, so I you know, I haven't I for life of me can't tell you which shrine I, I couldn't get past. Um and then also I couldn't get uh, off the top of the mountain across the other mountain without freezing. So like clearly I just couldn't Wait, um, so you, you didn't even get past the, the, the first part? No, nope, didn't even get past the first part. So you didn't get off the uh the, the plateau. I got off the first plateau. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. You, the, whatever the thing that, that's that you talk to the guy in the library and it's like a big old uh, telescope or something at the top of the hill, whatever that village is. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you're supposed to sort of fly off. And I got to like a particular island and I defeated whatever, you know, whatever guardians or whatever oh, they were there. Okay. Um, but again, it's it's been a long while. But whatever I'm supposed to get across fly across to the mountains i basically freeze by the time i get up there even if i come from the ground more games for me to come and fix for you yeah 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 so i mean like while i liked it my big my point was that sometimes the sort of full-on investment of the world and time and you have to hit all these massive challenges to unlock these things so that the game can be fun when i get to those kind of games i deprioritize my interest to prioritize my interest yeah. for them so i often don't don't play those kind of games because i really do like this sort of open world free to to exist and just play the game and that's why I like tower defense games are good uh gem crap i unlocked a lot of that but then i've had these moments where they're just like i gotta walk away from it because i will spend 50 hours trying to get past this one thing and just not be good enough for like that high level, you know, thing. So mm. um, that's why I would like defend the bits look very straightforward, right? Mm. Um, balloons is very straightforward, that kind of stuff. So I think, I think you might like cyberpunk because it doesn't force you to do certain things. You can skip like 90% mm. of the game, mm. but like if you want to just fit, just do the, the basic story, you can do it. Hmm. Okay, but like the 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 whole thing is like exploring and seeing more of the city. There's so it's so big, it's so big, but there's also in certain areas there's like there's nothing there. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know if if that's because of engine issues or if it's because of like they didn't have the time to finish that part, or, uh, or they'll do it later. Or yeah, there's like 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 if you, if you walk through the city center, there's like doors that are locked completely. There's n- nothing you can do. But they say they're locked. But there's like there's a door there, so why is there a door there, and why is it locked? Right, mm-hmm. you have all these like these cyberpunky abilities to hack doors and whatever. But that one is locked. It's very locked. You can't. Is there it. any case where you have to kind of achieve some stuff and then you can unlock things that were no, previously hard to, to get in? I think it's just um, it's just nothing there. There's nothing right. behind it. Got it. And, and also a lot of the 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 windows they're like they're shaders. 
So there's like uh, office buildings with shaders in the windows. So there's mm-hmm. like offices behind it. So you can see something. If you if you hop, if you get certain abilities, you can hop on um, roofs. Mm-hmm. But then uh, you try to look into places and this, and you can see this, it's just a shader. It's not, there's nothing there. It's just, Got a, it. it's just a flat thing. There's no, there's no inside. Yeah. It's kind of annoying. Did you uh, watch the uh, cyberpunk um, anime? No. Uh, oh. We're going through the season impressions right now. Is this new? Is it for this upcoming this is season? from last year. Oh, then no, I don't. Uh, I don't you I don't definitely should existed. watch the cyberpunk anime. It's okay. very good. It, is it called cyberpunk? It, it, cyberpunk, uh, yes. Okay. Edge Runners. So if, if I, huh, what was it? Edge Runners. That does not sound familiar. I would probably, maybe I recognize the Japanese You definitely go, should go watch it. I think it's okay. a very good it's a like it's yeah it's very good okay and also there's like a um uh, an end video um cutscene or whatever no there's like a th- you can get parts you can get like for example you can get one of the i think it's one of the best shotguns in the game you can get it like at a specific location for a battle in the in the anime so mm-hmm. you go to that location and you go pick up that gun and there's like a jacket you can get and all sorts of other stuff. So there's lots of tie in with the actual uh, video game. But the um, the anime was really good. Uh, yeah, we're on OG. We're going through all the season impressions. And we probably have a couple more shows before we're done. Uh, um, and we're in the, I think today we'll be recording show number five. Um, my point is that anime has not been so great. <laughs> There, there's been one good show, and that was from last quarter, um, and and there hasn't been really anything that amazing this 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 season so far. So there's a uh, a video, and this is like is it's not actually part of the actual show. Yeah. Okay. So Paul Mack links slash eighteen J. It's a it's a basically it's a little mini animation that's part of like the you see certain characters from the anime in there as well. But like, it's 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 such a good show. It's like it's an actually good show, and I really liked it. It's on Netflix. Oh, okay. So if you have Netflix, you can just go watch it. Got it. Okay. I would highly, highly recommend it. And if you don't know anything about the, you don't need to know anything about the game, or if the backstory, if like what cyberpunk is. Um. Yeah, you should definitely just go watch it. And I think I re- I recommend it as a topic for, <laughs> for OG, for OG. Yeah, I'll bring it up. <laughs> I think I think I think people will have watched it. First, I gotta watch it to see if it's worth even pitching. You know. Yeah. As a conversation, it's really just. I think it's a little less of a Matt conversation, it's more of a Paul conversation. Yeah, we'll you have the ask most Paul opinion. if he's watched it. He's probably watched it. Uh, I. It doesn't come to mind. Right, as a name. So if I say it in front of him, Edge Runners, he, he might spit out off the top of his head the Japanese name. Um, you know. But it's it's by Trigger. So it's... Uh... Oh, there was a Trigger one maybe last year. I don't know how I felt about it. I don't recall feeling great about it. Um, did, so did you watch it? Well, we would have watched in like season impressions if it was coming new in the season. I would have watched at least the first. It's, episode. it's not a. It's not on TV in Japan. It's like a. It's an actual just on Netflix. No, no, no. When we get stuff for the season impressions, it's all new releases. It's despite whether it's been physically broadcast. Yeah. You know, on TV, right? It could be simulcast as uh, a net animation. It could be um, released simulcast on a streaming thing. It all. It all counts. It was only on Netflix ever. So. Okay, um, which we do if that comes out along our list, and then we'll watch it. You know, things are Netflix only, so we've done that in the past. So yeah, um, I think it's a uh, I think it's a good show. Uh, Paul yeah. McLink slash um, eighteen J. Uh, Got it. So I I guess I hesitate to ask what is you said Death Stranding. What is that game? <laughs> Uh, it's a it's a game by Kojima, so he has a um, habit of making uh, strange games. Okay, um, it's just like walking endlessly, like in a zombie world or some something like that. Uh, that was just my guess. I don't know. There's that uh, just based uh, on name. The main character is played by Norman Reedus. 
Have okay. you heard of him, Walking Dead? I've heard of the name. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah okay, so it is a it is a zombie. Have you heard of uh, Matt oh. Mickelson? Hannibal? Uh, no, I have not. Hannibal? No. Uh, so Mark Hamill, has, yes, but no, not Hannibal. Hannibal like Hannibal. The, there's there was a show with uh, yeah. I'm Matt aware Smith's of it. I'm aware yeah. of the movie. No, the 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 show. There was a TV show with Matt Mickels Matt Mickelson as the okay. as Hannibal. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was never interested in you know the original. I mean, I watched the original movie, but I was not. It, a, a, you know, when they made a TV show after the character, I was not interested in it. I think I think the story for um for Death Stranding, as I understand it, <laughs> is, is that. Is that uh, when there is a um, when something dies, it leaves a crater or something like that? It's like it, it explodes. Something like it, it had a very big um, Neon Genesis and Aviva feel to it, like okay. a third it, impact. It crap. very much doesn't seem like it would appeal to me. <laughs> you uh, you basically are a courier uh, okay. traveling okay. across the United States, and well, what's left of it, and you interact with lots of um, um, things. You are sensitive to certain things that you can sense certain things coming and then you can um, get out of the way. It's not a fighting game. It's not a shooting game. It's more of like a walking game. Okay. Um, what comes to mind, and maybe it's not exact correlation, but a very similar kind of general premise, uh, Kino's Journey is an example of something where someone is sort of endlessly going between town to town, um, kind of helping and you you're basically you're basically trying to reestablish um, uh, communication between cities. Okay. After a disaster, and it's like uh, there's like um, uh, uh, yeah, it's it, it's really weird. There's there's babies in containers and whatever, and there's it's okay. It's really weird. It's so totally not of interest to me. <laughs> I I don't know if I will actually finish this game. There's um I got it for cheap, so it, right. it was discounted. That's always so a plus, like, Okay, right? I'll just get it and see if yeah. it's if it's. And again, good. I was looking at some of those four X games, and some of them were like forty bucks, and I'm like, yeah, it's not a priority. <laughs> so I I got Valheim. I don't know if you have played that game. No, no, it's 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 more of the it's like a building and um, um, like exploration type thing. Mm. So it might be might be interesting. And it's not that big. It's also pretty pretty nice in size. So it's, it's not a, uh, a seventy gig uh, file uh, game like uh, Death Stranding. <laughs> God, yeah, that's too Are much. There, have you have you played Hard Hades? No, I've heard of it. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure Paul talks about it a lot or has talked about it in the past enough to a point where I know the name. I got it on, um, I have it on the Switch, but I haven't played it on the Switch yet. But I got it on Steam because it was discounted. I was like, okay, I'll just go get it. I also have Celeste on the on the, um, on the the Switch and I've nearly finished it. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm going to be finishing it on the uh, Steam Deck because I really like the form factor of the Steam Deck. And the, mm -hmm. the way it plays. Like, if you play Terraria on the Switch, the performance is really bad. <laughs> and I would rather just play on the on the, on the the Steam Deck. It's much mm -hmm. nicer. Yeah. So Steam Deck is really the best purchase last year. Like, the, the, the best thing that I could have could have gotten. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wish it came out, like, a couple of years earlier. I, it would have been so much nicer. Aside from my DS or the SP, like, I haven't really... I just don't play handheld. And even with my Switch when I was playing during pandemic a lot, I was just playing it docked, you know, with a, a wireless controller. So I rarely ever played it in handheld. I, li I like the the handheld factor of the uh, the Steam Deck. I like Steam it. Deck, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like before going to bed, just play a few games while in bed and then just go, mm -hmm. go sleep. Yeah. And, to turn and off the brain. <laughs> my comment about never playing handheld with the Switch wasn't, that maybe the form factor is not great. It's just that I, if I was playing, it was always like at home. And except for when I had to w travel for work, um, it, you know, I just sort of lifted it, put it on an angle, I lifted it on an angle, and then I didn't use the Joy Cons. I, I used, you know, I brought a Pro controller with me to play. So, um, 
you know, it's just one of those those things I never really played in handheld format, and I stopped doing that a long time ago. So um, yeah. when I play games, it's mostly on this 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 system to me or to the left. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've I've also upgraded my my art station again. <laughs> I spent some yeah, more right. money. Yeah, I spent way too much money, actually. <laughs> I saw uh, self pictures. I got a. Uh, I upgraded my my chair because I I have a normal IKEA chair, but after like like one of those Marcus Marcus chairs, there it's called Marcus. They're like two hundred yeah. bucks, and they're like they're good. They're good. Again. Good enough. But at some point, they it was a it has cloth on it, so. Mm-hmm. problem that with that stuff is wears that out it, yeah and it doesn't it just gets you know if you're sitting in it all day and then you're like sweating in summer and whatever oh, it's not it. great yeah it, so if you have like fake leather you just you know take take a little uh little cloth and just clean it right mm-hmm. but in in on cloth it's no right <laughs> you have so to use a spray fed- to get it out yeah, on fabric, that stuff stains pretty well. That's why, like, most of the time they get you, you get pleather or you get, you know, this vegan leather stuff on most of the chairs now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is perfectly fine. And, and don't get me wrong, like, even with this chair, it, you know, I, I'm sitting on something that has a cushion. And if I put my hand in the side between the cushions, I'm sure I got crumbs or something from, like, the last house. I'm sure it's in the in the chair. Um, you know, it's possible. It has to be. <laughs> So I upgraded to another IKEA chair, yeah. and this one is a pleather chair because I'm I'm not doing that again. Because mm-hmm. like there's like there used to be on the on the headrest on the the uh, the, the the fabric one. There's like yeah. a, a stain of my head from sweat. Oh from yeah, yeah. No, I was this like, is okay. I need to get rid of this. This is all this vegan leather stuff. There's no actual like fabric on this at all. Yeah, it's yeah, plastic yeah. and metal and and this vegan stuff. Yeah, it's, it's uh, and I upgraded the wheels on it. Mm-hmm. So um, I, um, I've seen people do stuff like that where they found these wheels on Amazon and then they just swap them out. Um, like I've had a thought for about a maybe doing something here because I know I'm going to wear out this spot up yeah, here. Yeah, you should definitely do that because the uh, these wheels they uh, they um, they're like like skeeler wheels. You know what skeelers mm-hmm. are? No, I don't. Like the, the little uh, skates. Right. Yeah. Like I know there's urethane things for skateboards and stuff that are like great wheels but they're not not for skateboards they're for like um oh for rollerblade rollerblades yes yeah okay got it inline skates inline skates yeah yeah so but they they're like they're like soft wheels and they don't um they don't they do hurt when you ride your foot underneath them so that that is a bit of a problem well but, uh, then, then don't do that <laughs> I don't but think they, I've they ever are, done that. <laughs> so also, they don't have brakes on them. So if you if you get off your bike, off your uh, chair, and mm-hmm. the, the IKEA uh, wheels, they have brakes in them. So if you get off your chair, the weight is not on them on any longer, and they will um, they will start wearing down. So if you try to move your chair, it will wear into the into the to the your your the floor your floor. Yeah. Yeah. In this case, I'm on carpet and I don't have a problem. I just kind of move this chair. It's usually in one spot, gets moved around sort of in the circular motion between getting in, getting out, um, you know, from the spot. But aside from wheeling it over here to this corner once a week, otherwise it it never, okay, twice a week, uh, it it doesn't move much around here and it doesn't roll away on its own on on the carpet. So I think Mm. I'm good. I don't have that concern. I was just looking at it. I don't think there's any brakes on this. <laughs> yeah, but there, there probably are. They, they, they are. I think there's like a requirement these days. Hmm. Yeah. But, so you have um, a link for that? No, I don't have a link for that. But no, for uh, the oh yeah, wheels. I do have a link for the wheels. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's Paul Mank link slash eighteen i. Right. And, and then like, you have uh, one for edge runners as well. Yeah. 18J. So that's. Uh, yeah, that I already shared that. But that's yeah. like it's not edge runners itself. It's a different. Uh, it's a different part of it. It's like um, like a separate short animation. I think. Mm, okay. I don't think it's done by Trigger, this one. But like, yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, uh, my book is out and it's not doing good. So, <laughs> I mean, it is was that expected? Were you? No, I, I wasn't expecting to, yeah. to do good. But I, well, I I got enough. I have enough copies uh, by Monday 
they should arrive. I'll mm-hmm. have enough copies for me to last until the next book is out. <laughs> I, um, you know, again, in the last couple of weeks, I just sort of like, I never, I always had these like, like I, uh, when I get to do stuff for the auto club or do stuff for OG, um, there have been cases where I'm making up like merchandise of some sort, right? In the case of the club, it goes along with like higher tiers, get a swag box every year. Um, so I get to sort of play around and do stuff like that. And then in the last few years, I've been making stuff for OG, you know, uh, like cast members and people involved in any of the shows um, get things. Um, and I make them in a small quantity. So I've been having fun making shirts or hoodies or, you know, whatever it is. And so I decided to set up, um, was it Printify and an Etsy shop recently and just make very simple understated shirts that like, you know, like I have the same philosophy. Um, was it Luke from uh, Lionel, Linus Tech Tips? Like I like a lot of what they do. Not all their shirts, but they have these interesting art designs that um, are understated and don't say Linus Tech Tips all over it or LTT all over it. And if they do, it's very, it's very subtle. Like it's part of the pattern or something in the constellation or in the hard drive lines or something like, you know, it's very understated. So um, I, I made up. I made a thing up now. I haven't created an LLC and so that they have a way to pay me, but like I went off and I started to create um, some stuff where if I have like a weird abstract art idea that I want to create, I can do that mm-hmm. um, just as a thing to have an outlet for stuff like that. And, but the problem is I have, haven't promoted it. <laughs> I just made it a couple of weeks ago and uh, it won't, won't re- I don't suspect it would result in many sales unless I talk about it in a massive way. Um, so I, get, it's get a your thing Alan for me. Shirts now. <laughs> huh? Get your Allen well, shirts now. At, well, I mean, like I've seen people do this as a side hustle and, you know, they go and they, they do their market research, right? They look at what's popular pandering keywords and then they go build those things and they put those keywords in their descriptions and, you know, um, you know, if it's Harry Styles or, or Taylor Swift and they make some kind of lyric statement shirt or poster and, you know, get some original art made and do a thing. And then all of a sudden they get the hustle on that and, you know, it becomes a side thing and wonderful. Um, but I just have ideas and I just need an outlet for ideas like this. And so that's that's what all that was about. So. OK. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, so I was correlating it as like a place for, you know, you do this. I mean, why do you why do you do this art art stuff? Why do you make the books? Right. It's you know, it's a, that that sort of kind of thing. You just need an outlet for mm-hmm. for what you do. Um, and it, if it turns out and makes some money, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. But it's, mo- it's mostly the other way around. It costs money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, so does the podcasting. It, it has cost me more money than yeah. it produced for me. I, th- I think all in all, it's cost me this book about 6,000 euros total. Okay. So, I mean, it's not too bad. And I've made 200 so oh, far. Okay. So, yes, yeah, that, that is a, <laughs> if you're looking at the financial perspective, <clears throat> like, yes. If the tax big... man comes to me and says, uh, so you, you owe us some uh, some tax on this stuff. There you I go. Not. Nope, it's a loss. <laughs> <laughs> this is negative money. So are you going to pay me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, they, they won't. And as long as I don't have, I don't have, I, I don't make the money on it. So it's like this, I'm not going to. Right, and that's, with, with all the podcasting stuff, that's why it's never been anything I'm concerned about from that yeah. perspective. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I'm not going to link it here because uh, one, it will not get anybody interested in it. But um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's just not link it here. <laughs> I also have a, a short story. Um, my uh, my uncle bought a PC from me like last year, mm-hmm. around this time. Uh, I had a spare computer that I was um, uh, looking to offload to somebody, and he uh, got a deal. Very good deal. He got it very cheap. And then uh, last month, I got a message from him saying, hey, um, so um, go back a little bit further. Um, 
there is a problem with the cooler for the CPU mm-hmm. where it um, uh, it wears down the rubber seal on the on the hot end mm-hmm. and you need to replace the rubber seal and the plate because there's a combination where the plate can get full of gunk from the um, from the rubber seal that's disintegrating mm-hmm. so we get I get uh, a replacement part from um, um, the 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 company that that makes those coolers. I have three of them, so I'm a I'm a fan of that company. Um, and uh, so I was I was making an appointment at the beginning of the year, saying, "Okay, so let's just come over to my place, bring your computer, and we'll fix the thing, and we'll also replace your video card and all at once." And like he mm-hmm. was like. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to, blah, blah. Well, eventually we had to cancel because I had a giant pain in my face. Um, <laughs> and uh, so he said, yeah, I'll, we'll do it sometime later. I'm happy with the way it performs right now. I'm like, okay, well, I'll just give you the part so you can replace it yourself if you need to. So he, uh, he had some crashes in his game and he was like, oh, maybe it's that. So I'll just replace the thing. Uh, so he went to a friend of his to replace it. Um, and Didn't that friend so of well. his took the, um, no, let me, let me say, uh, so he got a message, he messaged me and said, oh yeah, well, um, the, the thing, um, it's, uh, it doesn't boot anymore. The computer doesn't boot anymore after oh, we God. replaced it. I'm like, okay, did you put the video, new video card in? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The new video card is in. And I was like, okay. And did you put the old video card back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't. They all put the old video card back. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Okay, he just bring it over. I'll pin. have a look. And was it a power pin or something? Did he bend? So what something? he did. Uh, so I get I get the computer in my uh, in my house, and I think I sent you like fo- some photos of it. Um. Uh, the you might have told me about something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that. When I open it up, I find um, the CPU the wrong way around in the socket. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. There was the wrong pin altogether. So there was like three bent pins <sighs> and oh, yeah. uh, there the was a, um, what was the other thing? There was a uh, um, like cooling paste in the in the socket and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 I had yeah. to clean that out and I had to fix the pins. nightmare. It was a nightmare, yeah. I, I spent most. I had a. I took a half day off from work, and I was. It was such a pain in the ass. He was very happy with it, so that's good. But still, he brought that to his friend, and his friend mac- mucked it up, screwed and it up. Yeah, he was like, "Yeah, he was it doing. doesn't work anymore." Oh, yeah, I think I can do it. And, yeah, and I'm like, "Did did he factor. did he yeah yank out the cooler with the C- was the CPU on the cooler when he yanked it out?" He just yanked it out of the socket and then put it in the wrong way and just put the cooler back on and squished it down. That's oh, what that's, happened. Yeah. And, oh, and also put lots of thermal paste in between the, in the socket. Uh, I, I, I'm thinking that either the CPU dropped or something like that or whatever. I don't know. It was a mess. There was just, there was cooling paste in the socket and I have no idea how you can fuck this up so much. Yeah, I I, um, I'm, I was just super disappointed. I never sell. I never would sell off my old hardware when it was old. I would basically wore it out to a point. This was not was old like, hardware. It was like, like half a year. Old. Right. Okay. So, so, like for example, I have an um, an eGPU, which is, isn't really doesn't really do much for my laptop. Not enough. But I have a twenty seventy, and so I hold on to the eGPU because I could one day pop out the 2070 and put it in something like this system that we're talking through right whatever i have here is not really the the greatest of graphics card um cards and you know i could even if i put a 2070 which is nothing really super new it's still better than probably what's in here um and any kind of streaming stuff i needed to do on this has been perfectly fine um but if I ever want to repurpose this hardware to do something more with it, you know, I have a piece of hardware that's still valuable to me 
to me at least. Um, but I never normally like give away the hardware. I'll find a way to repurpose it for some other thing until yeah, it's I'm completely actively... not useful to anybody, including me. And then I junk it. Mm. Um, so I'm, I'm never... trying to actively get rid of my stuff because there's so much stuff in my house that well, I need I, to get rid of. I did when I moved, right? I called up a junky place and now I know what the, the cost of like a yeah, whole if... household of junk cost me to get rid of so but if if my if the pc is like half a year to a year old I'm oh not yeah no, it, it. it still has value yeah i understand yeah, that point. so but he needed a new computer because he was playing flight simulator and then was playing it on like a very old machine oh which yeah, using yeah a lot of power and had a bad video card and like the video card that he transplanted into his new computer uh uh like he was on a uh, an AMD card, but like an older AMD card, like a 560, something like that. Mm. I don't know. An AMD card. And right. it was it was not a good video card. So we upgraded him to a 1660. And um, he was very happy with it afterwards, but he, he, he tried to get under from it. Like, oh, but he, the, the old video card has more memory. I'm like, yeah, that isn't really... That isn't telling you the truth. It isn't like the AMD and, and NVIDIA. There's a, such a huge difference between these two. Yeah, it, it has everything. They're not apples to apples anymore. Frequency, the kind of RAM. Um, it all yeah. makes it, it, it absolutely, the type of RAM, the kind of RAM, the frequency, despite size, makes all the difference in the world. Well, I, I got myself a 3060 this um, right. this week for my, uh, or for two, my art PC. Now. So now I have two, yeah. Yeah, yeah. One for my game PC and one for my art PC. And then the only thing that's different between these two machines is the art PC has 64 gigs of memory and the game PC has 32. So I'm actually thinking of taking 32 from that machine, <laughs> stick that into the uh, game PC, yeah. then put, uh, the, uh, put 128 in my uh, uh, art PC for like... Oh, I see what you're saying. Got it. So I'm upgrading my art PC because that's where I do most of the work on it. Um, that's the machine I do most of the work on. Mm -hmm. And eventually I want to decide if I want to keep using that system or switch over to the new uh, AMD stuff mm -hmm. with DDR5. And I, that might happen somewhere in May, I think, perhaps. Depends yeah, I, on if I'm going to go be traveling this year. Uh, if I was to do any kind of switcheroos on PCs, you know, the only kind of thing I can imagine is maybe this system, let's say I replace this system, which is good enough for me. Though I think I I want a, maybe a more of a tower so I could actually have the option to put, let's say, more graphics card hardware in there or whatever it is. Though if you get like a 4090, that, that takes like it takes like three slots. But um, there's, there's one thing that, that might send you at some point. Oh, boy. I'm going to send you a cooler to replace the current noisy one. Um, well, regardless of that, my point is if I was to do some swap or roo, what I'd end up doing is either I take this hardware and do something with it, um, or I take this hardware and replace it, supplement it as a studio thing, and then I take this thing and I put it in the basement and make that like, you know, my home lab, you know, for know. for for things in the house and put, a, you know, a sand downstairs or something. I don't know. Uh, I'll get around to it one day. I'm, I'm not there yet, you know. Either way, don't sell your computers to your family. Uh, yeah, in general. I, again, I and, already and, have that sort he, of philosophy. By the way, he was, he was not like saying, oh, you, you have to guarantee it. I'm like, uh, yeah, no. No, no, no. That, that's the... And he the, was like really upset because mm -hmm. he's like, he has a, a, some some heart problems and stuff so he's like yeah it, it was just stupid he let that I mean, guy fix it and it's like uh, yeah don't next time just ask me because right i might not have the time today but i might have the time next week i, and we I can just to, agree on that moment I always would get stuck in this trap where like a, a decade ago um <laughs> my oh, okay so for example like this is a small thing right um maybe 15 maybe 20 years ago my stepmother loved her iPod and her iTunes and she was so invested in it. And then she got tired of, she bought an Android phone. She's like, well, how do I sync my iTunes to this? And, you know, this was at a time where there was no Apple product for this. There was no iTunes on Windows and no being able to do that. I said, well, there is, 
you can get a piece of software that does that. That's what I do. I, I bought this third party thing that, you know, da, 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 and then um, she didn't like it or, or she took it. She didn't love it, whatever it was. And then one day, 10 years later, 15 years later, she's she's whining about, well, I hate this software. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, why didn't you change it out? Why didn't you get the Windows version of iTunes now? And she's like, oh, no, I just switched over to an iPhone. I'm like, okay, but she's she's holding a grudge to me for a recommendation that I made because she asked me for one 20 years ago. And she's sort of just like holding a grudge on me. Well, you told me this and you told me that. And I'm like, why is it you never listen to any of my advice for anything else, but you do that and then use it conveniently as a grudge? And we haven't talked about this in 20 years. So, no, no, I really, I really call shenanigans on this you're an adult you don't know what you want go figure it out or you could have asked me 10 years ago that you hated this what what should i do like no absolutely not adults are adults despite whether you're the educated one i hate when family members get around to this convenience of trying to blame you over something that has nothing to do with you and um yeah i don't know it's that's why i always just sort of like you know, if they're going to ask for my opinion, I'm going to give you the solution. And I don't expect you necessarily to to do what I say, but you should do something similar because that's my recommendation. But you are not allowed to hold a grudge if you chose to listen to the salesperson and get something cheaper. Yeah. Like, yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> um, I hate that stuff. Anyway, so it's also a, a cautionary tale as to don't um, let anybody just touch your computer unless no. you like like if you if you um just like he was like oh i bet i didn't want to bother you i'm like okay just, just yeah send me i've a heard that before time. and i'm like, like and then when they bother you it's the worst time it's the yeah. worst way to bother me <laughs> yeah so it's like oh yeah it's broken uh and i have no idea how this happened <laughs> yeah, yeah sure <laughs> yeah. You, you mess with it but at least he was honest about it. He's like, yeah, there's a, there's a, I let the, this guy uh, fix it, but then it didn't work anymore. So I'm like, yeah, okay, well, let's go have a look. Maybe it's an easy fix. I don't know. I'll just take the afternoon off. I'll go and go and fix it. And yeah, family, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. That's why I avoid sort of, it's not that I don't have a problem with giving advice. It's just, I've had enough of family where they don't listen to me at all. And then they go do whatever they want. Um, and it's totally counter to what your recommendation was. And then they whine and complain and expect you to fix it. And then my response is, well, you didn't take any of my advice. You ignored it. So you made a decision. Um, I mean, I'll help you, but know that, um, it is ab in the absolute opposite direction of what I recommended. And so you can't fault me for your mistakes. <laughs> Mm. and i'm like very blunt about it now because i would get stuck in these stupid loops i just just oh it's so frustrating so anyway do you have yeah. uh want to go through the fun stuff yeah let's do that let's <laughs> let's end on a more positive note yeah <laughs> okay i've got one the reset part two this is uh related to the other um animal crossing videos that i've shared in the past he has uh, a long video. It's, yeah, it's it's like a it's the continuation of the other video. It, it's so. good, but it's just the 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 chatter drives me it, nuts. It it goes as such it gets so thrills. Plumac link slash one eight eight. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, mine are all TikToks. Uh, TikToks. <laughs> TikToks. What did I just say there? That's going to make it into your edit. I know that. Um, the trail of wellness. So this is a guy goes by I think old coder guy or something like that and he has these little sketchy things that he does sometimes they're funny sometimes they're not sometimes it's just him sort of vending out a point of view um, that I can relate to although this was kind of funny uh, the trail to wellness OG uh, polymatic dot link slash 18 e <laughs> I'm so used to saying OG link <laughs> yep the joke that became fact Paul Mank links is one eight nine. Yeah, I never heard th heard about this, um, so it was all new to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, I guess 
probably one of my more favorite cosplayers because she does really amazing cosplays, unbelievably amazing cosplays. Um, the Guardian, speaking of Zelda, uh, polymatic.link slash 18h. Okay, what if the universe is math? Polymatic link slash 18b. Yeah, that's a long video. <laughs> it's yeah, I have lots, nothing but long videos this week. Oh yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, so this I thought was interesting. Uh, polymatic dot link slash eighteen g. Uh, someone I guess three D printed an, an, an oversized um, accelerometer, kind of like what's in these accelerometer chips. Uh, mm-hmm. So it was interesting to see you know how they achieve that in such a small form factor, um, and having it blown up was kind of really interesting. Yep. What was the link? Oh, polymatic.link slash 18G. I gave it up at the start. Okay. Okay, trying 50 Japanese vending machine drinks. Polymatic.link slash 18C. And they're not all drinks. <laughs> no, they're not all drinks. And you heard my commentary. I was like, oh, no. He's, no, that's not what... That's not a... <laughs> Yeah, well, William Osmond has been sharing his these videos on his on his other other channel. It's really entertaining. He's very entertaining and, and not always in the greatest of ways, <laughs> but he knows that's the point. So uh, that's why he does yeah. it. Um, yeah. Uh, so I thought this would be just interesting to you. I've seen maybe at least this one TikToker, um, but I've seen. I feel like I've seen a couple people show off uh, some art. It's called Endless Paper. I assume it's probably an iPad app, yeah. iOS app, but you basically kind of zoom in and you can just sort of draw so that it like endlessly zooms, you know, and so what people do is like they have the, the solar system and then you you sort of zoom down to a planet and then in the planet you go through the clouds and then you go through the city and then you go down all the way down in someone's, you know, backyard and then, you know, onto the food of their plate into another, you know, it's like this, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. called endless paper. Uh, I thought it was interesting. Um, I don't know, for me, as much as that's interesting, that's a lot of hours, a lot of hard work to do that kind of thing. Um, polymatic.link slash 18F if you're interested. Okay. Laser chainsaw. This was, um, this is uh, like OSHA val- uh, violation uh, city. Polymatic link slash 18A. I, I had saw this video and I watched it recently and I don't know if you sent me the link or what. I don't know where I saw it, but I saw this video recently and I watched it in full. So I've sold this exact video that you linked. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, that guy is, uh, he's nuts. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so this is really not so much a, a video as much as uh, a dark sky alternatives because on Android, you know, Apple bought dark sky and they're like, no more Android. Um, I don't know if they got rid of the, I think they killed dark sky as like a known entity. They integrated it, I think, into their weather app inside iOS. Mm-hmm. Um, anyhow, so an Android alternative called Carrot. Um, I like it. Uh, it's it's a, it's interesting, and one of the things by default, it has this little snarky comment. So every time you open up the app, or at least once a day, it makes a little snarky comment at you, and sometimes it's like social commentary of things, right? So, for example, there was one where I opened it up, and it's, it made some kind of comment about, I mean, obviously it was regarding... Um, a certain nation with a spy balloon making its way over the U.S. And it made a snarky comment. I was like, this is why I like this app. And you can go in your settings and change its level of snarkiness. <laughs> so it's called carrot uh, polymatic.link slash 18D. I know it's on Android. I don't know if it's on iOS. Um, but it's a, it's a weather app that I to very least like opening up because I get a little snarky remark. Every time. It's pretty fun. Yep. Okay. Where can they find you, Alan? On the internet. <laughs> okay. Polymatic link slash Alan. For me, yeah. you can reach me at polymatic link slash John. Our feed for ba- feedback, you can reach us at podcast at polymatic media. Our Twitter is the polymatic. Our website is polymatic media. I hope you tune in next time. <laughs>